Hi, I'm Eli, and this is my Life of Pi Symbolism presentation. The first thing I want to talk about is the shipwreck. I think of it symbolizes beginnings and end. I believe this because it marks the end of Pi's family and past life, and all of that is under the sea. And then he starts his life aboard the lifeboat. And that's when his suffering begins. The next thing I want to talk about is the ocean. I believe it symbolizes barriers, because Pi talks about how it's the only thing keeping him from joining humanity. Richard Parker, I believe, symbolizes Pi. I believe this because Richard Parker kills the hyena and is the last animal left on the lifeboat. Pi, in, his, in Pi's second story, he kills the cook and is the last person left aboard the lifeboat. I think the hyena symbolizes the cook. I think of this because the hyena kills and eats the zebra and orange juice, the orangutan. And in Pi's second story, the cook kills and eats the sailor and Pi's mother. I think the lifeboat symbolizes safety. I think this because the lifeboat provided supplies for Pi when he needed them the most. It protected him from the elements as well. It also protects him and Richard Parker from the carnivorous island and other dangers. I think the meerkats symbolize ignorance. I think of this because they take from the island and don't have cares or fears. When Richard Parker begins to eat them, they don't care. They only fear the acid that comes out at night, just like the Eli in H.G. Wells' The Time Machine. I believe the algae island represents heaven and hell. I believe this because the algae island, it provides food, water, and transportation, everything a human could need during the day. But at night, it becomes very deadly. I think the blind Frenchman represents Sim Satan. I believe this because he talks about eating blood and raw meat. He also talks about killing and eating people. He, Richard Parker saves Pi from him by eating him, and he refuses to eat anything other than meat. I think orange juice symbolized Pi's mother. I believe this because in both stories, either Pi's mother or orange juice support him emotionally, and they both attack somebody for him. Another similarity is they both have two sons. They also both killed, or in Juice's case, the hyena, and in Pi's mom's case, the cook. What actually happened was Pi's mother, the cook, and the sailor escaped the sinking ship. The cook killed and ate the sailor and Pi's mother, and Pi killed the cook. Pi spent the rest of his time out at sea hallucinating until the lifeboat landed in Mexico. Pi was taken to a hospital and rehabilitated. He then, he was then moved to Canada, got married, had two children, and lived a normal, happy life.